Tennis players are fearsome athletes on the court, but it seems there's one opponent they would rather not face. Sunscreen. Here to tell us why tennis players hate the stuff is WSJ reporter Jeff Foster. Jeff, thanks for being with us. No problem. So, I mean, probably no one spends more time under the sun than a tennis yeah, player. Yeah, yeah. And if you go to the U.S. Open, I was out there the other day. It's very hot and the sun's out there. It so. is. And I feel guilty if I'm out in the sun for more than five minutes without yeah, sunscreen. Yeah, some of these matches last more than three hours. So, so what do they have against um, it? They hate it for really a simple reason. When they start sweating, in which they do when it's hot, uh, it starts running and it gets, if they're wearing it on their forehead, it gets in their eyes, which is going to affect your vision. If you're wearing it on your arms, it could slip down on your hands and that's going to affect your grip, you know, and grip on the racket's obviously very important. So, you know, they're very particular about these kind of things and they'd rather not wear it. Absolutely. But you find that some of them have some tricks. Some of them have some tricks. There's one uh, girl we interviewed who doesn't wear it on her forehead. She wears it everywhere else. Right. So that sort of gets rid of the Dripping eye into problem. The eye. Some people, you know, they look for spe uh, specific like sweat resistant sunscreens. There was one uh, woman in the story who goes all the way to Japan to get a special sunscreen that, you know, is good, you know, when you're sweating. Uh, so that's another trick. Right. And, uh, you know, there's numerous things you can do to sort of work around this. And now, do you think, though, this is dangerous? I mean, doctors it's definitely say dangerous. that yeah. the I damage mean, isn't immediately apparent. It's one of those things, you know, you do when you're young and then you have the effects of it when you're older. And, you know, obviously long term sun, sun damage is very clear. It's very documented. And, uh, you know, they're not going to be seeing the effects of this damage from being in the sun, but probably later on in their life. They will. But yet you encountered still this sort of this young, you know, yeah, bravado about thing, it, you know? sunscreen, you know, I think that? it's probably particularly hard if you have a sort of tan complexion and you're not going to necessarily get burned. Right. Then those are probably the players less resistant to wear sunscreen, which they still need to obviously, you know, prevent sun damage. Um, but if, if you're out there, you're really pale skin, you're going to get a horrible like lobster burn. You're probably going to want to wear it just for, you know, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, you got to be careful. And obviously, we should tell people out there that don't, you know, you may idolize these tennis players. Yeah. But don't follow them on that one. Yeah, uh, and if you see the regard. fans out there at the U.S. Open and they're just covering themselves <laughs> in it, you know, Hats spraying and it on. I know. Um, and which is good. So do that too if you're going to the U.S. <laughs> right. Open. All right, Jeff, thank you so much for that. I hope we do get to the U.S. Open.